Today I'm going to show you guys how I transfer a baby's face into that digital backdrop. You're going to go to your lasso tool, make a selection of your baby. I prefer usually not to have anything on the baby if you're going to use these backdrops, no, no bows or bonnet or anything like that. So you click and drag your image to the digital backdrop and you resize it to your liking. Click OK on the check mark. And then I'm gonna grab the purple layer and put it on top of that second layer. I'm gonna resize it just a little bit more in there. That looks I'm going to increase it just a little bit and turn it, click OK. I'm going to go back up to that layer and create a layer mask. Click, make sure you click on that white layer mask, select your brush on the left hand side and set it to black so we can clean up a little bit. I'm going to delete some of this right here. Make sure your opacity on the brush is set to 100. And just go and bring back some of this baby's face around I'm gonna zoom out. I'm constantly zooming in and out just to make sure that it doesn't look off. Sometimes when we're close, we're doing a close up, we miss thing and vice versa. The next thing I want to do is fix the baby's skin tone. It's very bright. So you're going to go to the bottom little half moon, click on it, and select the brightness. You're going to play around with the brightness depending on the image you transfer in. And I am going to set it right around there. I don't want it to look too bright, but I also don't want it to look too bright, too too dark. Also make sure that you're actually working on the sec uh, layer number two when you are gonna make that adjustment because if you're on layer one it's gonna um, reduce the brightness of the picture as a whole. Okay now we're gonna click back on layer one and we're gonna go to our dodge and burn tool I'm gonna raise the opacity just a little bit up to 49 and just go around the edge just so it doesn't look too off and create some sort of contrast just around between the baby's bonnet and, and the edge of the skin. Okay, I'm gonna go back to layer number two and I'm gonna move it around just a little bit again Um, center it just a little bit so this baby's face is slimmer than the actual bonnet and that's okay I'm gonna show you guys a little trick where you can um, adjust make a little tweak and adjust so you're gonna go back to the layer make layer number one Make sure you are on the actual layer. You're gonna go to filter, click liquify. Okay, that's what happens when you go on the mask and not the actual layer. layer. So click on the purple layer, filter, liquify, zoom in, and I'm gonna pull that bonnet in just a little bit because that baby's face was slimmer than the original baby on this shot so and vice versa if you have a, a a bigger baby you can actually pull out with the liquefying tool you can pull it out okay so that looks just about right to me 
gonna go back on the masking layer click on my brush and set it to white and I'm gonna clean up the edges just a little bit more bring back that that bonnet go around the baby's face zoom out And adjust the brightness just a little bit more again there is no right or wrong it's just depend on the lighting um, that you shoot with and you just adjust it to your liking the last step I'm gonna do here after I zoom in and out and I have everything exactly how I like it I'm going to flatten my images up on top. You're going to click on layer, flatten my image, then you're going to go to file, save as, save on your computer. The original file is a PNG. You can save, change the format to JPEG and save as you like. And that is how you transfer a baby's face onto this digital file. Thank you guys so much for watching.